We're at the Kenmore tea stop. I started to record in the station, but was asked if I was filming the uh, courtesy guy for no reason. I wanted to say, well, no, but if I was, there's no law against that. You're in a public place. <laughs> so a lot of times I do these and I don't talk, but today I was kind of in a chatty mood until that happened. <laughs> Sometimes people are just weird. Anyway, we're by the Kenmore uh, MBTA train station. There's a busway um, construction. The 7-Eleven that I'll never go to again because they owe me money. <laughs> McDonald's, a ticket please. This is kind of cool. Hotel Buckminster, it's signed, seen better days, huh? One of my favorite buildings right there. I should have just flipped around. I have music going in my ear, so I usually don't talk a lot. And I know today I'm a little more chatty, but we'll see. So we're in Boston, we're right by the Mass Turnpike, we're passing by Fenway Park. Just afternoon on Thursday, the 17th of November. And we're by Fenway Park, uh, the Kenmore area, Fenway. It's a very lively area most of the time. It wasn't during COVID, but hey, what was? If you catch me singing, it's because I have music in my ears that you can't hear. Sal's Pizza. Prudential Building, I refer to it a lot 
as a reference point because it's uh, pretty easy to see for most of the central areas of the Boston area. Here's the... Huh, interesting. There's one that's closer to me, but it's, uh, I don't know which one would be more convenient. It's a little bit of a hike to get there. <laughs> the sausage guy. Probably a pretty uh, valuable URL. Bleacher Bar. I have not been to a Red Sox game yet. I have been to a concert. But this is just a lot of fun during games. I try to avoid it because it gets very crowded, of course. But, you know. This music hall is new. up here on the right. <laughs> Thanks, man, appreciate it. So uh, low 40s today. We had 73 on Sunday. So I think it was our last warm day. Morrissey, December 4th. I don't know if I know anybody else that's up on these little marquees. Disco Biscuits, that's a cool name. I'm probably talking really loud because the music's loud. <laughs> well, anyway, that's better. Bill's Bar. I don't know who Bill is. Maybe I should. That's, I don't think that's true. I don't think anything hydrates better than water. Oh, now this I would like to see, but I just found out about it. And it's today, and I can't afford it. There you go. You never know what you're going to see. Today it's tearing up a sign. <laughs> right in front of Loretta's last call. Oops. <laughs> Alright, we'll go down this side. Look back where we came. Yeah, this opened last month, I think. So, I guess they were working on it all during uh, COVID. I didn't even know it until it opened, so. There you go. MGM Music Hall 2022. Alright, we'll go down this way.
I wanted to collect that half stuff. Anyone? There's the Boston Arts Academy. I didn't know that was there either. Haven't been out and done this in a couple weeks. Been staying off my foot, letting it heal. Got some new stuff for it, so if you're new to my channel, I have some health issues that kind of mess with me, but so here we got Ted Williams, Bobby Orr, Johnny Pesky, and Don DiMaggio. And I don't know what that is. People watching's fun, but I'm kind of people annoyed today, so. That's gotta be a dog walker, right? This can't be her dogs. Maybe, I don't know. That'd be a house full. I'm watching my friend's dog tomorrow, working on making a video for him of his dog for Christmas. And maybe he always, like he's already put up his Christmas tree, so <laughs> probably we'll try to get him an ornament with the dog's picture on it. Cause the dog's getting old, he's like 12. I don't know how much longer he's gonna be around. I like the kinds of street art and just designs that you see out on the streets of Boston. Just like with that truck hitting that sign, you never know what you're going to see. <laughs> I guess he wants to get a re record of all the Boston World Series. 1918, 15, 12. It's pretty cool, huh? 1903. the new stadiums and all these things but some of these places just are historic and there's a lot of history around this area <laughs> mobile eye care that's pretty cool there's a mural on the end of the Marshalls over there. I don't know if you can see it yet, but we're headed that way. And then there's more. Little, another little area there, but the, yeah, we'll go down to this way. So, more little shops and stores and fan stuff. an idea of what parking is like in the area compare it to your athletic and sporting events where you are and 
right now this is the main kind of videos I've done but there will be some other things coming soon so if you like this kind of stuff please like and subscribe so we're coming up to Boyle Street which is one of the main streets and there's Prudential again down that way we'll go take a little walk up this way I like these, how they take all the utility boxes and make them cool. Across the street, Regina Pizzeria is one of the like Boston famous pizza places. There's a Target down there, a grocery store on the left, Star Market. No, we, I, why not? Tasty Burger is kind of one of those famous. Oh, they're moving. Well, that's good because you can tell it used to be a gas station. <laughs> I wonder how much somebody paid for that lot to build a high rise. Because when you look around, all the buildings are tall if they're not, you know, old like that. You probably can't hear me now. <laughs> uh oh, oops. the puppies. So we've got Fenway Health right there across the street. Um, sandwich place, all kinds of stuff. A tea house we just passed. Love sack. One seat, one side, endless options. Okay. Let's see what all these are. I need a new couch, but I bet they're way that on my price range. Interesting. I'll have to look that up. Now you can too. Tat Bakery and Cafe on the corner. There's, there's a lot of those here. There aren't any, or there weren't in Indianapolis when I left. But Star Market's one of the chains in this area. It's usually the store that I go to. We got a Cafe Nero, Verizon, just a bunch of businesses and stuff around here. At home. All the targets are kind of at the edge of the city, back in Indianapolis. But here they're multi-story. So let's walk through. Why not? And I'm gonna shut up. since I'm inside now. The wind's not blowing on my ears. There's a little um, bitty target out by where I live, but it has very little stuff. So, one of the reasons that I do these is because I don't have, like, photos and things for, you know, memories from any time more than four years ago. 
so we'll uh anyway sorry I was trying to navigate I um do this to share it with people who've never been here Yard House restaurant down there and also myself you know who knows what the future brings I could move somewhere else I could have memory issues <laughs> as I get older like I said I have health issues that that could be a potential side effect so I figure if I make these famous sick go sign back there in the distance you know if nothing else later a nurse can put me in front of the TV and say this was your life <laughs> so anyway A week before Thanksgiving, but sure, got all the Christmas stuff out already. My friend put up his tree Friday. I'm not doing mine till at least the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Have you seen the way the kids dance these days? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that you know something like that would look good on my um in my kitchen I have an island that is right there when you come in So on this floor, we've also got grocery and just all kinds of stuff. Hot drink bombs. Add the hot milk. Okay. Dunk. Hmm, interesting. Never seen them before. <laughs> I have you two singing in my ear. <laughs> Lots of red. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Since I'm here by myself, I really don't celebrate the holidays much. Just my friend across the street and his dog. But sometimes I like to come, even if I don't have money to spend, and just walk around and see what's new. Get ideas in my head. I have to uh, watch my sugar because I'm type 2 diabetic and it's under the tightest control it's ever been in my life right now. So I'm always looking for healthy things. But that's not what I see. <laughs> Everything is way more expensive than it used to be, but this is not a place I would shop for food anyway. It's too expensive. Alcohol maybe, but and special things. But like almost ten dollars for a thing of Belvita. <laughs> and I remember when it was six. Not that long ago. Frozen section, lunch meats, drinks. <laughs> 